안녕하세요. 안녕하세요. Uh, hello. My name is Edward, and this is Robert. 네. So Robert uh, has a Korean school teaching uh, foreigners who want to learn Korean, and I have studied at Robert's school. Uh, today we're going to give beginner learners uh, their first lesson 네. on the Korean alphabet. So we encourage students to use a textbook to follow along. Uh, you can choose your own textbook. Um, we are kind of following along with the Active Korean series from 네. Seoul National University. 네. Um, so that would go well with the lessons that we've prepared. You can also use the textbooks from Sogan University or any textbook you can get your hands on. 네. Okay. Um, so today we are going to look at the Korean alphabet, how to make some syllables and 네. characters in Korean. 네. So why don't we look at an example of of a word in Korean here. 네. So we've got a picture here of an umbrella. Of course, umbrella in Korean is not umbrella. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> so how would we say this word? Usan. Usan. Okay. So if I hear usan, it sounds to me like two syllables. And if I look at how it's written in Korean, 네. I have two characters. Right. So our alphabet up here, basically we use these consonants and vowels 네. to build syllables or characters. 네. So in this case again, u san. 음. Okay, so together this means umbrella. 네. Okay. Um, so if I see this character or this syllable, 네. it always has the same sound, correct? Right, this vowel, wu, wu, it's always wu. Okay, so a little easier than English, right? Mm. Uh, the vowels in Korean, they always have the same sound. 네. So this is always wu. 네. Okay. 그리고 some uh, syllables, is, uh, just one consonant, one vowel. Mm -hmm. Some has one vowel, consonant, one vowel, another consonant down there. Okay. So Maybe you can we need we need at least two letters 네. or two letters from the alphabet to build to build a syllable. 네. In this case, we only have two, so one consonant and one vowel. In san, we have one, two, three. So 네. one consonant, one vowel, one consonant. 네. Okay. Um, Robert, could you maybe show us another word that almost looks the same? 네. So maybe the the second 네. largest city in Korea. Busan. Busan. 네. So here's our word, Usan. We're just going to change one letter 음. to make Busan. 네. And what would that look like? This one. Bu. 네, bu. Okay. Busan. So instead of the first syllable being U, we've changed it to Bu. 네. And if you'll notice, only one thing has changed, the top consonant here. 네. So instead of giving us u, we have more of a b sound, bu. Okay. And the second syllable stays the same. Second 네. character stays the same. Okay. Want to look at one more example? 네. Okay, so we, before we introduce uh, the letters from the Korean alphabet, 네. usan was an example of a word with two syllables. 음. Now we have, it looks like a laptop computer to me. 네. How would we say laptop in Korean? Notebook. Notebook. So notebook mm -hmm. uh, has a little bit of a different meaning. I guess we can say notebook for a laptop in English too. Um, in this case, notebook maybe in English is two syllables. 네. In Korean, we get an extra syllable. Notebook. 네. So one, two, three. So I can, I can deduce that this is no t book. Okay, so in our first character, in our first syllable, how many letters are we dealing with? Uh, this one? Mm -hmm. 하나, 둘. Two. 네. That gives us no. 네. Second one? 하나, 둘. Again, two. That gives us t. 네. 하나, 둘, 셋. Okay, so three in the third syllable, book. Okay, note, book. 그리고 some syllables will have even four. Okay. One, two, three, four, even yeah, five. All right. So we can use up to five mm. consonants and vowels to make one syllable, 네. one character in Korean. 네. Okay. I say ne a lot. 
네. which means yes. 네. So he is agreeing with me. 네. So far he is agreeing with me. <laughs> okay, so 네. why don't we go over why don't we go over our consonants first? 네. Um, 여기에 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, 일곱, 여덟, 아홉, 열. Mm -hmm. And 14 consonants there. Okay, so we have 10 on our first line. 네. 그리고 둘, 셋, 넷, 다섯, 여섯, the basic, six basic vowels. Okay. And then 하나, 둘, 셋, 넷, four more. Okay. 그래서 to do the sounds value of uh, the consonants, maybe let's have this one. Okay. Yeah. So we're going to use the A vowel. Right. So this vowel, this... It's always A. Ah. Always the same sound. Mm -hmm. Always the A ah sound. Kind mm -hmm. of sounds like A-H in English, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm opening my mouth. A. Ah. Ah. Right? Ah. So again, up here, so we had our 10 consonants on the first line, mm -hmm. and then kind of four extra consonants, which we'll look at. Mm -hmm. These are all related, right. just like our vowels down here. Mm -hmm. so we've got six on the first line, and four on the bottom line. Again, these are all kind of related pairs. 네. So, okay, let's look at A 네. and maybe pair it with some consonants. Right. Here. 그리고 when you write a s uh, syllable, mm -hmm. you write the consonant first always. Okay. 그래서 this time just let's do this one first. Okay. Mm, and then we can do this one, this one, this one, this one. Okay. So this one, the M. Right. Okay. So characters in Korean will always start with a consonant. 네. Okay, so we never have a vowel coming first. No. All right. So this, yeah, this is like the equivalent of the M sound. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if we put our M sound with A, 네. 그러면 마. 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 Okay. 그래서 그리고 uh, 그리, this is M, mm -hmm. 근데 이거 A, 그래서 마. 그리고 이거를 하나, 둘, 셋, 이렇게 써요. Left, uh, to right, mm -hmm. top to bottom. Okay. 하나, 둘, 이렇게. 그리고 top to bottom again. Right. So there is, there is a specific mm -hmm. uh, stroke order that we should follow, especially when you're just learning the Korean alphabet. 네. So in the case of the M sound, one, two, three. And the rule is left to right, top to bottom. 네. So one, two, three. 네. For the A vowel sound, one, two. 네. 그리고 여기, 여기 이렇게 괜찮아요. Okay. 이것도 괜찮아요. Right. So if, 네. if these lines intersect, that's okay. 음. If there's a little space, that's okay. 네. Anybody would be able to read either one of these, right? 네. Okay. 그리고 여기도 이렇게 괜찮아요. Okay. So again, even with the, the vowels, it's okay if, if your strokes are not perfect. Right. We'll still be able to read them. Korean handwriting 네. changes from person to person. 네. But it's important, I think, especially for beginners, to learn the stroke 네. order. 네. Right? Later on, 뭐, 이거 괜찮아요. Right. But <laughs> 지금은 <laughs> 이렇게 이게 좋아요. Right. 네. All right, so as you get more comfortable, you can kind of, 네. you can change them to what you're comfortable with, 네. but. 그리고, they can see, 이렇게. Mm -hmm. 이것도 괜찮아요. 이것도 괜찮아요. Right. All of them. The M. M. Right. And all of them give us the same syllable. 네. Ma, 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 ma. 네. Right? 네. Okay. 다음. So let's look at maybe a different consonant. 네. Again, this was our, M sound. 네. 그 다음에 요거 먼저 할게요. 오케이. Okay. 이거는 이거는 이렇게 half 같아요. Yeah. So this consonant kind of looks like half of the M sound and we just get would you give one mm. one stroke? One stroke. Okay. So to start up here 네. one stroke what does this give us so when paired with A? 네. 그러면 나. 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 그래서 요것도 괜찮아요. 이렇게 해도 괜찮아요. Right. Again, if there's a space here, that's all right. 음. If there's no space, that's all right as well. 네. We still get the same sound. 네. So here we had 마. 음. Down here, now we have 나. 네. So this is kind of like the N 
N sound 네. in English. 네. 그래서 여기에 아 그리고 이거 쓸때 이렇게 triangle 생각하면 좋아요. Right. 좀 길게. Yeah. So when you're practicing uh, making Korean characters, instead of thinking of building the characters in a in a box or a square, 네. kind of helps to think of it in a triangle instead. 네. Right. So in this case, 그게. we can imagine a triangle around 음. here. And that's what we're trying to fit our character into. 네. 그래서 여기에 <웃음> if we had one more consonant down here, yep. 그러면 like this. 그러면 요건 약간 짧아요. Okay. Shorter. Yep. Like this. Same consonant. Then nan. Nan. Yeah. Right. Nan. So like we saw with the example of usan, mm. 네. u was just two, uh, two, two letters together 네. to make a vowel, and san was three. 네. So here is na, one, two, nan. We add another n sound at the end, so we have a three-letter 네. syllable. 네. 그래서 이렇게 <웃음> 요거는 항상 이 밑에. Right. 영어에는 뭐 아, oh, so it goes this way, right? Yeah. 근데 한국말에는 이게 여기로 가요. Right. So English is always left to right. In Korean, left to right and top to bottom. 네. So here we have consonant, vowel. 네. The next consonant goes under the vowel. 네. That's completed in one syllable. Right. You'll never have one, two, three. No. no right? No. Right. Uh, you know, later we can do this combination vowel. Okay. It's kind of a little different, but usually down there. Yeah. So this is a combination vowel that we haven't uh, put up here. We're going to look at that later. Okay. But so that could come next to this okay. to be this line. Right. Okay. okay. Right. So the consonant always goes under mm. when it's following the vowel. Okay. So so far we have looked at again the M sound and the N sound. So we have ma here, we had na below. Let's look at another 네. consonant. 자, 그러면 이거 해요. Okay, so we're going to the first 음. one. 음. And what does that give us? So let's have that one with vowel a. Mm -hmm. 가. 가. 음. 가. 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 근데 I hear it sounds like sometimes K, sometimes G from my student. Yeah. But actually, we Korean people, we don't know that. Right. We do it just we don't know it. Yeah. So it, it helps, I think, some, some learners 네. to think of an equivalent in English. So 네. in this case, K or a G. 네. But it's not quite K and it's no. not quite G. And for Koreans, that doesn't matter, right? right. So well, maybe depending on placement 네. of this consonant, we'll hear a different sound, right? So some people, if I say ga, you might hear more of a K, you might hear more of a G. But again, Depending on placement, 네. that could affect <웃음> it as well. So, Robert, can you say this 네. this word here? Kaga. Kaga. Do they sound different? To me, they sound a little different. To me, it sounds like more of a K sound 네. and more of a G sound here. 아. So, kaga. But to Koreans, the same. Same thing. Doesn't matter, right? 네. So, you don't have to worry too much about exact pronunciation, 네. whether you're using a G or a K. 네. In Korean, this is. The combination G K 네, sound. 네. 그래서 이게 it's between two vowels. Yeah. 그러면 just do this one. Okay. 그리고 이건 nothing here. Right. 그러면 K. But right. please don't worry about it. Right. So again, placement here we're we're between two vowels, so it sounds maybe more like a G. 네. And our first our first consonant sounds more like a K because 네. it's at the front of the word 네. and it's not between two vowels. Right. Okay. The K. Ah. Ah. If you I say them slow, same. Right. Ah, same. Ah, ah. Right. Ah, ga. Okay. Right. Again, <laughs> we don't have to worry about this too much, right? No, no. Okay. So, Yogi, if we had down here, then kak, 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 kak. Sounds like K? Ah, uh, yeah, yeah. I'd say so. Again, yeah. if it comes at the end mm. of the syllable, it sounds more like a K again. Yeah. But if we were to put a vowel on the other side, mm. it would turn into more of a G sound. 네. Right? 그리고 이거 괜찮아요. Mm -hmm. So this is okay. When it's uh, from a machine, you'll see this one right. a little bit. 
Filter. Good on you guys from calligraphy. Okay. All right, so this is kind of the printed style. Yeah. And this would be, well, this <coughs> looks quite block as well. This yeah, looks like yeah. it could be printed as well. Yeah. What about some, some handwritten versions of Handwritten, all different. Right. Mm. So everybody has their own style. So sometimes yeah. it's it's more square, sometimes it's more like a triangle, sometimes yeah. it's rounder on the edge. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Okay. The man. Um Yogo. Mm -hmm. uh, would you write to this now or? Uh, sure, ne, we might ne. as well. So we've just done, ne. like we said, this is kind of a K and a G <coughs> mixed sound. Now, we said there are some four special consonants. So ne. this one goes with our KG sound. But in this case... You're going to always K. Yeah. Always K. So this is a stronger version, kind of, right? Ne. The Ka. Ka. You're going to always Ka. Right. Ka. So you there's no, no question here. This is ne. always Ka. Ne. Okay. Yeah. Ta. Ta. Yeah. Same thing again. Ta da. Ta da. Yeah. So you go nun? Okay. Right. Ta. Ta. Again, based on the placement, you might hear more of a T sound, more of a D sound. Yeah. Robert, can you say these two syllables? Again? Ta da. Ta da. Ta da. So I think to me, it sounds like more of a T, more of a D. Mm. So again, depending on placement, and if it's between two vowels, you might hear a D, you might hear a T. 네. Okay. But this, so. we don't have to worry about this either, right? No, no. To please. Koreans, they don't think T and D. Right. It's just always the same syllable. You might so see this consonant, sign. Sorry. So what city in Korea? Yeah, Daegu. Yeah, it's the same city. Right. Mm. Right. Daegu. Right. So Daegu would be written with this consonant, 네, 네. but again, sometimes when they change it to English, you see it spelt with a T or with a D. 네. Okay. 그래서 그리고 여기도 same extra stroke mm -hmm. on it. 그러면 이거는 항상 always yeah. Okay. So just the same case as here, we have one extra stroke that always gives us a K. 네. Here instead of a T or a D, one extra one extra stroke gives us T. Mm. Every time. Mm. So, da, mm. and this is, would be more of uh, ta, ne. right? Ta. Ta. Mm. Ta. Okay. Yeah. Um. How about, here's a little bit of a tricky one. Ne. You're gonna, the, two gaji do teo. Right. So, two sounds. Ne. R and an L. Ne. Okay. The me, um, Okay. Okay. 그러면 이거는 라. 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 네. 라. 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 네. So, in this case, it's not quite R, it's not quite L, mm. but in some cases it's more like R, 네. and in some cases it's more like L. 네. So when it's at the start of a syllable, 네. it's closer to R. So again, 라. 라. Right? 네. Um, and how about down here? 말. 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 So we did ma, mm -hmm. mal, 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 mal. So at the end of the syllable, it takes on more of an L sound. Okay. Yeah. So ra and mal. Mal. Right. Yeah, mal. Here's I think uh, in English when you say L, oh, mal, like a bill. Yeah. So you, you can feel the placement of your mm -hmm. tongue. So, if I say mal, 네. yeah, I feel my tongue goes up in 네. my mouth, right? Touch the roof. Well, right. I think. And yeah. you can feel in your mouth a different, different movement, right? So, ra, 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 ra. You don't feel the same, your tongue doesn't go to the top, it no. starts and ra, goes down. Ra, just rolling. Right. Ra, mal. Right. Mal is what? Mal could be... A horse. 네. It could also be a word. 네. Yeah. Or, or a language. Language. Yeah. 한국말. 한국말. Right. 네. So we had ma here. 네. So just adding the real, 음. the RL sound, gives us a different word. 네. Right. And Robert, what would ma be? Ma는 it could mean 
many different things. Okay. Can mean horse as well. When it's the uh, Chinese character. Okay. Iroyo. Iroyo. Para Dorisen, Dash 1, 2, 3, 4. Okay. Chinese <laughs> Right, so uh, yeah, so some some words in Korean come from Chinese, mm -hmm. from Chinese characters. Yeah. So, horse in Korean, pure would Korean, be pure mal. Korean mal, mm -hmm. but from Chinese ma. Yeah. Okay. Okay, so we are we are doing pretty well here. <laughs> um, should we look at a couple yeah. more examples? Yeah. Uh, so we saw before Busan, mm. like we said, the second largest city in Korea. Yeah. So it's the same same consonant sound. Ne, pa. Pa. Ne, pa. Pa. So pa. again, this is a bit of a special case, right? Mm. So it could be a P or a B, ne. depending on placement. Ne. Pa ba. Pa ba. <laughs> so, pa ba. So maybe more of a P, more of a B sound ne. here. Okay. Ne. I didn't know that until I started my class. Right. <laughs> right. Yeah. But but again, it's only if you compare it to English that you run into this problem, yeah, right? Yeah. So for Koreans, again, you, we, mm. Koreans don't worry about this. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, you will get there. Eventually. Yeah. The so same thing when, when you see Busan, the mm. city written in English, yeah. sometimes you see it B-U-S-A-N, yes. sometimes yes. P-U-S-A-N. Yeah, yeah. Maybe it just helps to recognize that it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. So. Ah, in this case, though, maybe we can have one more. Yeah. Oh, sure. Then, pop, 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 cooked rice yeah. or food, right? Or, yeah. yeah. So, uh, again, takes on a bit of a different sound. Yeah. Pop. Yeah. At pop. the end, I'd say it sounds more like a P. Mm. Yeah. Pop. pop. Right. But we do have a stronger version. Ah, no. You go in. Even in a little different from these guys. Okay. In the it's not pa. 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 Mm. pa. It's not just the extra stroke, right? Yeah. So, but it's always P. Yeah, always P. Pa. Pa. Um, then, two more. So, this one is Sa. Sa. The, you know, we didn't do this vowel yet. The e, yeah, e. Right. So this vowel here is always the e, e sound. Many e's. Right. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> right. It doesn't matter if it's consonant down there or not. G. Hmm. So this consonant, again, depending on which vowel it is placed next to, yeah. it has a bit of a different sound. So in this case, it's sa. Yeah. It sounds just more like an s. Yeah. But sa. If it's next to the E mm. sound, it becomes more S8. So, she. 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 Yeah, so, here. Yeah. Okay. Then, shim. 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 Right. So, we have our M consonant at the end. Still SH sound. Mm. Shim. Yeah. Okay. 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 Another, another special one. Mm. Okay. Right. Yeah. So students might recognize, again, when we showed you the word usan for umbrella, this was the first consonant. In that case, it was coming before the u vowel, and it had no sound. Right? No sound. So when you're writing in Korean, ne. you always have to put a consonant first. Ne. But if it's a vowel sound that comes first, the consonant has ne. no sound at all. Ne. Okay. So you're going to kenyang. Ah, ah, ah. Here is the ka, kang, kang. So the ng sound, when it comes at the end mm. of the syllable or at the end of the character, it takes on this mm, ne. ng sound. Ne, kang. Right. Kang, are, kang. kang river. River. Right. Ne, kang. So the Han River in, Han. in Seoul that runs through a lot of Korea actually is the Han Gang. Ne, Han Gang. Kang. And I could never write. Just the vowel like that. I need no. this consonant here, right? Mm -hmm. Right. 
Same thing. Right. So again, our consonant, mm. this is the same character, same mm. syllable, cha, cha, mm. but cha. more handwritten and more printed. 네. 자, 자. 자, 자. 자, 자. 네. 그래서 이것도, again. Right. Sometimes more of a ch sound, a ch. Mm. Sometimes more of just a j. 네. Cha. Okay. 자. Now we have a stronger version of this. Mm. Just adding one stroke. 네. Or 이것도 괜찮아요. Right. Or 이것도 괜찮아요. Right. So again, all of these give us the same sounds. Mm. So you can write it like this, you can write it like this, or like this. Uh, this is always the ch sound. 네. And it's always. a stronger cha. 네. Right. Cha. 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 Mm -hmm. Then, uh, right. It's all the same. Right. So again, many ways to write these characters mm. or these uh, letters. Ha. Ha. Mm. This would be the equivalent of the H in English. Mm. Ha. Mm. So uh, sometimes my students ask me, how come there are two O's there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> mm. Right. So it can look confusing, especially mm. if you're if you're only used to seeing. Mm it written one way, 네. it can confuse you. So to look at this, this 네. says 좋아요. 네. Yeah. 여기, we didn't do this vowel yet. It's right. O, O, the long um, horizontal vowel there. 이거는 it's not O. 이거는 yeah, 이거야. H, right. consonant, H. Okay. Yeah, so this is the equivalent of kind of like the 네. J-O-H. 네. Right? But in this case, I would not really pronounce no. the H sound. So I would not say Jo ha yo, I would just say Jo wa yo. 네, right. so 이거는, it's like in English, I think, sometimes. Right. So sometimes it's silent, even if it's written, just 네. like in English, the word hour, 네. we don't pronounce it hour, 네. right? So just like in, in English, in Korean as well, sometimes we don't 네. pronounce what is written. 네. So 이거는 그냥 하. Ha. 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 Okay. All right. Mm. Uh, now, Robert, I don't know if this would help students, but mm. I've heard that maybe with the H sound 네. and the four on the bottom, 네. it's kind of the aspirated sound, 네, right? 네. So, ga and ka, mm. and da, da and ta, mm. ba and pa, mm. ja and cha, 네. and ha. 네. All of these you can kind of feel 네. you're putting out air. 네, Okay. 그래서 아마 여기까지 하고 the next video에서 vowel. Right. So we've covered the consonants. We've looked yeah. at a couple of vowels, and maybe in the next video we'll mm. we'll go through the rest of the vowels for you.